the last two days I have done one meal a day. I have been doing like one meal a day type of situation and it's not because like I want to, it's because I order this Mexican meal that I am probably too obsessed with, like I need to stop. I have been doing this thing where if I order something from like a restaurant, I'll make it to where I don't eat as many calories in that one day because of sodium and because like, um, you never know like the hidden calories and like takeout food and this and that. So today I had a takeout meal and now I don't want to eat the whole day because I already ate that one meal from the restaurant. If I would have just ate at home, like I'd be able to have three meals. So this is something that I want to talk about and something that I know that I need to start trying to work on is like stop ordering takeout. Like it's that simple. If you guys want to know what I'm doing for like my eating, I am doing IF, which is intermittent fasting, which works for me and it prevents me from binging. Sometimes, whoa babe, <laughs> sometimes this obviously isn't like recommended, but Sometimes I'll do OMAD, which is just one meal a day where I just eat my 1800 calories in one meal. And yes, I am eating 1800 calories. I stay between 1750 and like 1900. So this means I am down two pounds since yesterday and I know exactly what did it. I did OMAD yesterday, which is one meal a day. Sometimes that works for me because as someone who doesn't want to think about food all day, because when I think about food all day, I usually binge. So when I do one meal a day, I don't have to think about food. I don't have to think about food at all. And I just go about my day and everything is splendid. It, it does get harder towards the end of the night because when I do OMAD, I like to have my meal usually about four hours after I wake up. So then that leaves the whole day without food. But it works for me, honestly. And I noticed that when I do OMAD, I actually eat less calories in the day than I would if I ate throughout the day. It's not something that I do every day. It's not something I want to do every day because I woke up so hungry. I woke up starved, like hunger pains. I was like, I need food. It was pathetic. I don't want to eat at all today. And I don't want to eat through the night, obviously. And I want to eat when I wake up tomorrow. A little nervous. Um, I have gone 24 hours without eating um, a few times and it's really just been like on accident or I did it on Thanksgiving because I was doing OMAD for those days so I didn't gain weight, da da da. A lot of people were like that was unhealthy but it stopped me from binging. So we're gonna see how this treats me. I'm just not feeling the greatest. So yeah, it was 5.43, you guys remember, and I was like dying on the inside and um, Today, you guys will not believe it, which has only been two weeks and two days. Are you guys ready? 512 point something or other. So I have lost over 30 pounds in two weeks. And um, I, I might just, you know what? I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm doing. And I feel like people are going to come for me. They're gonna come for me. They're gonna come for me. Okay, so there's no medicine involved. It's literally just fucking willpower, which is crazy. Okay, so I started the first week when I lost over 14 pounds. I was only allowing myself to eat two times, but listen. So I would have my first meal at about like 7 p.m. And then I would, well, no, it was like eight. And then I would allow myself to have like 300 more calories around there of something else. And I normally chose protein. That's why you guys were seeing me eat those freaking meatballs like a crazy woman. Um, Cause that was just so easy for me. And it was only 300 calories for six of them. The second week I, oh, you guys don't be mad. Okay. I've kind of only been eating like once a day. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't agree with it. I have never agreed with OMAD like ever. I've always like, that's so unhealthy. Like what? But I literally took everything that I thought I knew about weight loss and I said, fuck it. Um, and I just want to do like what would make me feel the best. And that's literally how I've lost over 30 pounds. So I'm going to keep doing it. 
and um yeah it just feels really good um and it's like I'm not even eating a ton at once and I think that's probably why I'm dropping so much weight because I feel like I might be like under eating a little bit um oh mad I've never done it so obviously the first week you know I wasn't as strict with it because like I need to work my way into that um and of course, there's been a couple times where I'm like, okay, wait, I'm a little hungry. So I always allow myself to have 300 calories. I don't know what it is. And it always has to be like protein. Uh, I got seafood boil, which is one of my favorite meals. It absolutely, without a doubt, makes my nose itch, but it's totally fine. Wow, that stuff went flying. So, it comes in this bag and I get shrimp. I'll show you guys up close. I get shrimp and crab. It also comes with broccoli and it is so good in there. So this is my meal for the day, obviously. And I never finish it either, but it's so good. Let me show you up close. So this is what it looks like. You see the crab, the potatoes, the shrimp. Oh my God, it's all so freaking delish and then there's the rice um back in the day i would also get the sausage with it but since i'm trying to only do one meal a day or whatever i don't need the sausage like it just adds way too much with something that's already pretty big and bulky so this is just me and my thinking zone i was doing like one meal a day with like maybe a small snack at night and i think i want to go back to doing that but I think I want to eat my one meal a day on camera. So it just keeps me accountable. And I know when I eat on camera, I do eat a lot slower than like I do in my real life. And I'm able to just like enjoy my food more when I do that. So it's definitely a thought that I'm having. Um, let me know what you guys think. Send me some Instagram DMs. I know a lot of people have missed my eat with me videos. A lot of people say that they're comforting, which I love that. I love that I can be a comfort to people. It's also really comforting to me, especially now that I'm going to be living by myself. I'm going to be eating all my meals by myself for the most part. And that's actually very sad. I was actually talking to my mom today about like getting back on track with like a diet or whatever. And she's like, I'll support you. What diet do you want to do? Like when I was doing OMAD one meal a day, I was losing a lot of weight very quickly. I lost 31 pounds in a month. I just don't think I'm like mentally strong enough to do that right now because that was hard especially in the beginning, but then like your body gets used to it and then you stop getting like super hungry. Like the science adds up, like one plus one does equal two. I went back to something that is what works for me. I'm only eating about once or twice a day. So I know that's like, whoa, that's crazy. But I feel good when I do that. Every time I ate though, it was a takeout meal. So like an example, if I wanted seafood boil, I said, you know what? I'm gonna get seafood boil. I'm gonna allow myself to have this meal. I'm going to enjoy it, but that's all I'm gonna eat for the day. It truly seems like I lose the most weight when I do this, when I just eat once or twice a day. It is freaking crazy. It makes the most sense, I know, like obviously because I'm eating less. Because if you guys remember, I think it was back in September, where I lost like 30 pounds in a month and it's because I was doing that. I was eating only once or twice a day and I felt so good, but then my mental health got really, really bad and I started eating more again and then I gained the weight back and then I haven't been able to get back to that. And then here I am back to that again. And I just, I don't want it to stop now because I feel so freaking good. Still the horse, the bean bags and her.